Look at what, this, what do you consider Law. that? Listen, you ain't going to be kicking it with me unless you're taking this pipe straight up. Okay, okay. And more importantly, okay. if you're taking okay. this candy muscle, you mine. Okay, so candy candy muscle. <laughs> you mine. All right, with your little cocky self. Can like I ask you, you something? Like, you so, my property. All right, so can I ask you something with your little yeah, cocky self? Yeah. So, you're not hitting it, but we going out every day. We spend it every day together. That's we talking. Out. You you That's learning. So out. First off, hey, yo. Y'all hear what's going on? This is what I'm saying. This is what's wrong with 2024. And y'all y'all wonder why I be locked on my man the way I am. So, we That's going out crazy. every day. You spending money on me. I'm spending Whoa. money on you. We doing our own thing. Because, like I said, an independent female, I know going to fully take care of me i i will never put that's financially crazy. any responsibility in any man's hands so they could have control of me that's you're crazy amazing. um that sounds exhausting but girl. i'm saying yeah it's not honestly it's fun. <laughs> a little bit though girl i i spend no, money i, I make my I own money it. and then i, I go it. spend it on what i want to spend it on that's not exhausting to me that's fun so <laughs> nasty, um, thug nasty. Look, we're gonna pause you real quick we're gonna come here we're gonna come right back <laughs> go ahead, go I, ahead. Just, I just have a quick question you said that you that you you as a woman wouldn't want, wouldn't, wouldn't allow a man to have full control over you, right? No. Do you no. need a leader as a man? Um, a leader up to a certain extent. I want a leader without somebody that is trying to <clears throat> control my lifestyle. Like, so, I don't want a man to tell me what I'm going to wear, what I should and shouldn't wear going so, out, or what I should and shouldn't spend on so shopping. I have, I have a firm belief that with men, there's three things that they really need basics, right? I'm listening. Submissiveness, mm. I agree. Respect and peace. I agree. Right? I, agree. I agree. You can't to all have three. two leaders. So either he's leading or he's not. Yeah. If a man is controlling what you're wearing, he's mm -hmm. looking out for you. Yes. Now, Ooh. obviously, so you don't think he can protect far. you? Wait, no, 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 no. Can we can we backtrack to that? Absolutely. So, if can you repeat what you? What oh, you just get her off wait, the wait, drink. Wait. Get okay. her off the no, drink. No, first off, I did have alcohol. Don't go there. But I'm just saying, what you just said, you're talking about like. Clothing wise, going out, like what are you being specific on? I'm trying to understand the situation you're trying so, to. So in, in general, because you, you had made a comment about how you didn't you didn't want to have a man to have full control of you, yeah. right? And I firmly believe that of the three things, right? One yeah. of them is submissiveness. Now, when I say submissiveness, I'm not saying that he's gonna beat you down and like that's not right. what I'm talking about. I am gonna beat well, it down, but well, go ahead. But, <laughs> go no. ahead. but but in this the sense boy. of like if, if my man <laughs> says, say I, I come up to my man and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to this podcast right now, this is what mm -hmm. I'm wearing, and he was like I don't like that. I'm changing. Like, at the end of the day, I'm changing. You're representing. I'm changing. I'm representing my man, and especially I agree. when he's not around. If he tells me that, then I need to. I, need I to... sent pictures of my outfit. Like, like I said, I was rushing to get she here, sent but sent pictures to me. Sent pictures like, of my mm. outfit straight to my man. My man is watching right now. He's texting me right now. He's watching he texting right me now. too. He's so, me. He like, like I said, he felt some sort of way right with your breezy coming over here by me. Like I'm not. Like I'm. I, I'm really locked in with my man for he real. So, well, you got to understand, like me, they're, anyways, um. It, <laughs> so where's the line i guess is my question because it's kind of like I, I guess i guess for me i don't know if i believe that there could be kind of both things happening at the same time right well i think it's like 2024 so i think they're girl we know what year 20, it is that's what i'm saying <laughs> so if you know if you know what year it is you yeah. should know that like there are different like circumstances from like five ten years ago things are no. a bit different let me, oh, no, to no, where no. like if thing. i walk up to my man i could be in booty shorts and a crop top and be like babe you want to go outside and be like, yeah, baby, come on. Yeah, but that's different when your simply man's Simply because, with you. no, simply because my man is more of a protector. He's, he already knows I'm not about to give no attention. Like, y'all don't entertain Fair. me, period. Fair. And but if, the, if somebody does try me, he's there to protect they me. They try me. So. But, but, the, but it comes back to, you had said that you didn't want somebody to have control over you. But then, mm. I, and correct me if I'm wrong. So I think you did agree with me that? in some capacity that, like, your man is your leader, right? Yeah. Okay, so. How could he I be said your leader without controlling? I said complete control. So that's that's okay. what I'm asking about. Is like, so can you, can you no, on that? 100%. Like, that I, I agree. Your man you should have some sort of control over you. 100%. Okay. Because if, if you're really a ride or die, like you say, your man should at least have some sort of say of the way you live your life. Especially one, if your man is older, wiser, and more knowledgeable right. than you, which in my case is. My man has five years on me. You're too oh. close. You're too oh, close. Man. Her man just DM me. He oh, said you're too close. He just DM me. Wait, I got a, I got a, I got a valid question. I got a valid question. Okay. Quit breathing on her. Go ahead. Hey, question though. All right. I just got to, I got to throw this out here. For these types of relationships, what does a man really get what he wants out of you? Like, you know, let's just say like we got her operating the capacity. Ask like, someone specifically. I'm asking you. Okay. Specifically. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, she gonna let me function and she gonna say, you the leader. Mm -hmm. You can tell me what the dress like, you can tell me what to do. Cool, mm -hmm. all right, that's what's up. 
and then I got you. Oh. And you like, man, you can't run my program 100%. Huh. You can't that. control me fully. Wait, no. What, you oh, just said that. Wait, no, when she just said, if your man asked you to change before you leave out the door, I said, I'm going to change. For sure. Were sure you that. listening to that man right there? He just yeah. said that you said earlier, which you did, I'm not giving full control to any full man. Full control, yes. Full control that, that means I'm not going to let a man take my money. Right. I'm not going to let a man tell me, like, mm, I can't but say that. But isn't it both of you? Like, how, how if about you're... you separated? You're not going to let a man that's not taking you anywhere to give you any, in <sighs> you know, his program. He's not going to okay. be able to install his program into you. I like that. But that's one right. that that's will, crazy. like the one you say you have locked down, he's able to talk into your ear and 100%. install his program into you because you trust him enough. That's what kind of I like they that. saying, don't. Mix it together. Well, no, that's not what I'm saying. Actually, I'm not. Okay. So, uh, I'm to understand. basically, what I'm saying I like where you're coming from, though. You okay. said you're not going to give me your money. Now, she's no. going to give me her money, and you not. No. Right? Okay. Now, let's, let's, let's break you that down. You should have your I own got money. full control over you. her. She says, hey, look, um, I'm, I'm not the your slave, mom. your master. Oh. That's how she working. She operating like that. She's like, look, this is how I really wanted to be. <laughs> I got you over here. And I'm like, yeah, you can't run my program fully. You can't have my money. Now, here's the crazy Here's the crazy part. Now, it doesn't it work like this? Like you can't give something you don't have. Absolutely. So really, if she giving me money, she probably got the bag anyway. That's why most of us see. Mm. Okay. But like that's what I'm saying. Level, she probably got a deep go, bag. So, so you talking about? No, no, no. Because you being a hypocrite right now. Well, you, 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 you being saying. Shout out to Brian. He writes. Still trying to figure out why Dana's single. Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna need an answer. Look at her. Ooh. Um, I would. I would say so. Just a little backstory to, to make this kind of make sense. For 20 years, I was in two relationships, basically. That's a lot um, of I was, I was, full disclosure, I was married for 10 years as a military okay. wife. Um, wow. And then directly after that. that, I was in a relationship for eight years. Okay. So coming out of those two back-to-back -back relationships, for me, it was really important to take a moment to step away from that and make sure that I knew who I was, what I wanted, what I needed, um, because I really didn't know who I was outside of being a wife. I, I just didn't, I didn't so know So how long that has that been, if you don't mind me asking? It's been three years now. Okay. Um, I've and I know the dating, the term dating is, means something different now than it did yeah. when I was younger. It's, the so term I've, single I've means dates. something different as well. Yeah. So I've gone on dates. I, I have, um, you have any seen kids? somebody, I have no children. Wow. Um, I, wow. she gone. <laughs> he writes, ask Callie about that tattoo on her right rib. I mean, I have one, but my name is not Callie. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, oh wait, is he saying from, like, I'm from Cali? Yeah. Yo, oh, I was like, yo, like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's my man. It's my husband's middle name on my right rib. Is that your husband? Can we see? Yeah. Can we see it? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yo. Husband wait, wait, we got to rewind. We got to hold on. We're, there's so much to just backstory real quick. Did you, Was your husband watching my content before you came on? Um, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, all right. Oh, Shout out to your husband. Yeah, I think he don't share the profile of me, actually. No. Okay, all right. Shout out to your husband. Um, he said, ask Kelly, uh, Callie about that tattoo on her right rib. Because when he said that, I was kind of like, who is this man? And why does he have this information? How does he know, huh? Yeah. How does he know? Okay. I was like, I couldn't even see. Okay. okay. He said, let that be known. He's like, look, I ain't got to DM nobody. Just peep this tattoo. Says yeah. enough. Yeah. Beautiful thing. Was, Carrying on. Okay, go ahead, y'all. Um, we caught up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hand that man that mic. That man said, I got something to say. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you say you're not going to give your man um, your money when he's older, wiser, mm. and more financially literate than you. Ooh. So... Make that make sense. <laughs> my man is going to teach me how no. to manage my money, and my man is going to teach okay. me how to multiply, and my man is not going to yep. take from me and expect to do whatever he's doing on his own. He's going to teach me how to be just like him, and if not, Just better. like him, just like a man. That's amazing. Absolutely. That's amazing. I already lived that life. Dang, she... Do you, do you, you think a man can teach you how to, uh, how to multiply? I feel like we women naturally multiply. That that's kind of one of our one hundred percent. When he supplies, when he supplies, and we multiply what he supplies. I'm not okay, gonna lie. I 100 percent agree. But I look at life like this. <laughs> so I go out to dinner with my man, right? And we go eat, right? <laughs> I like seafood. So say he spends 150 on the bill. 
Okay. That's one fifty in my pocket that I don't have to spend. That guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go invest. I'm gonna go multiply. I I I I'm like I get it. I'm young, and a lot of people kind of like downplay me because I'm so young and I live in Vegas. But I I'm like I I really make money for real. You know, I ha- like I, I said, I own my that. own business. At okay. 21, we live in a so. world where everybody Precious. can make money for sure. For sure. Ain't, ain't nobody going to like, he's going to teach me how to make it Precious, more. I have a question he's not going to take Wait. me. I have a Go question ahead. for you, Precious. Now, hold on. Hold that Precious. mic, Precious. Hold that mic. I had a question for you. Oh, God. <laughs> and I want you to get, you got the button ready to switch on to her face real quick after I ask this question. All right, cool. <laughs> Do you realize that you are absolutely insane? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, fair enough. Let me say of something real quick. Enough. Fair enough. I want to just go off what everybody's been talking about. Excuse my tongue piercing. Uh-huh. And from the beginning, too, mm-hmm. you were talking about how some women with certain mindsets will end up being a single mother Guaranteed. or not getting her dream man. Guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? And I love you. I love you, Precious. You're amazing. I love your opinions. Mm-hmm. I love everything about you. You're really cool. You're a dope person, right? Perfect. And I feel like women, not like not her, because there's some people that out there that are, have like some standards like her about not allowing the man to control her. We, we, just everything she's been saying since she's got on here, right? A lot of those women, if they have like the drive to become successful, right? Mm-hmm. And they become successful, become that rich woman. There's some rich women that will still go 50-50 with your man or, or su- succumb to him. Right. But there's a rich woman that become rich and want to be the one that has power so she can be the one in control. Take it all away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So he can be at her beck and call, basically. You know what I'm I saying? What, what she says go versus the man, you know, leader with the group. You know what I'm saying? Nothing yeah. is wrong for a woman to be rich in control of right. her family and what goes right. So, he know, he walk away, he walk away, he losing right. everything. There's right. nothing wrong with that. Right. You know can what I'm saying? But there's some women like that and there's some women that like to be submissive and with the group. Right. I like to be submissive. I like my man to manage my sh- You know what I'm saying? But Praise the Lord. Praise his can name. I, can I that's just nothing wrong with women that don't want to, though. That's okay, I'm fantastic. Carry on. Can, I, can I ask a quick question to the group? Yeah, go ahead. Do you do, do you ladies think that our success means anything to men? No. Mm-hmm. No. It I feel like it depends on the type of man you have. If you have a real man, so like, real. like be our success does not it, it doesn't extent. mean nothing to men. Men, I feel like men almost have like a gene built in them from birth, and I don't know how to explain it. It's no like, man is the same, regardless though. of what happens. Um, I have a brother who has been played, has been cheated on, beat on That's by crazy. women, all types of stuff. Wait, your stuff. brother's beat on by women? And he oh, still, he uh, don't play my brother. Don't That's go crazy. crazy. Don't That's do that. Crazy. But he still now to this day makes stupid amount of money, like is traveling, does his own thing, and he's single. Like, But he's also tried to be in relationships. So I really feel like us as women, like however we treat a man, a man is going to take that with a grain of salt and keep it pushed. A real man. I'm not talking about a little boy. I'm talking about a real man. They're going to take it with a grain of salt and be like, all right, I learned a lesson. I'm going to keep it pushing. Now watch me stunt. That's that's how most, or I would at least like to say that's how most men think. I don't want to speak for men, but that's just how I feel. Shout out to none of the above. He writes, Thugnificence. Be- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Thugnificent. In on you. Shout out to Thugnificent. He writes, Thugnificent's BF at home thinking, yeah, I smashed once. Why she think no. we together, no, no, though? No. <laughs> Every night, that's his no, Can I actually can I add on to her question? Go ahead. Um, how long? Uh, I feel like it does matter to some men. Um, depends on how you see it. I feel like if you're in a relationship with someone, they're going to support you. And what you want, and then they will care about what you're doing, what your self image is, what you're doing work wise, and if you're achieving your dreams. That's how I got your. That's question. crazy. That's insane. I, I meant more from like a initial perspective. Yeah. Like when they orig- exactly. initially meet you, right? Because like I think that there's okay. some truth to what you're. I, I agree with you in some capacity in the sense that there's certain classes of men that care about your education yeah. specifically because they won't bring you into the family if you're not of a certain echelon. But then as far as what you're accomplishing from a career perspective, because I've noticed over the last five plus years, there's been this push for boss girls. And, and I love that. Insane. Right. I love that because I think that we should be we should feel powerful and feel like we can accomplish something because that that that, that helps our, our confidence. Originally. Right. But in the same token, like men, men are, are willing to to date women that work at coffee shops. They don't care. Right. Because right. they need those three things. As long as they're getting those three things, the income is, is irrelevant. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I wanted to ask more more along the lines of like when when they first meet because I feel okay. like we we keep pushing this thing about independence and being strong and being boss girls but that's not really working in our favor at all in the capacity of relationships 
Right. And obviously, or happiness. When, right. And obviously, in 2024, there's there's places for everything. There's right. there's polyamorous. There's there's all sorts of it's crazy stuff. Open relationships. Robert right. Jones right. writes: How long has thug love been in a well, relationship? Does she acknowledge that long term does mean the financial gets combined? Wait, say that one more time. He's yeah. saying if you're long term with a man, the money gets combined. And by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you've been with your guy less than three months. Yes. Correct. Well, how do I know that though? Yes. How do I know that though? Known him for three years. Okay. I just. Yeah, you were with an, you were with another guy during the time that you knew him. Um, I did date somebody else. Yes. Yes, he is aware. He knows that. Indeed. He's very Indeed. honest person. Very yeah. good. Very good. I have so many questions about why you asked that. Right. Me too. Because someone like, super chat. Oh, okay. I thought, I, I thought you were just doing something. <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, oh, okay. No. <laughs> no, because someone super chatted it. But here's the thing about relationships. Um, when the woman has like a career or she's working a lot of jobs, I find this to be the most inconvenient thing on earth. <laughs> and it actually, I find it to be like, so you're going like, to take care like, of that like, woman yes. you don't have to work? I find it to be funny, but sad at the same time. Like, for example, um, tomorrow I'm flying out and Zuda, remind me to book you a ticket as well. Uh, so yeah. t tomorrow we're, we're going to fly out and we're going to drop in a couple of different cities. There's one young lady, good looking young lady, good career, very competent, intelligent. And uh, she had been messaging me. I said, hey, I'm actually about to be in the Midwest looking at some property. Why don't you come by? Let's, you know, let's meet in person. And she says, OK, but I'm so nervous about having to ask my job for like some time off. Yeah. She's like, I'm stressed. And I was like, I can understand that. see, like, first off. Don't bring that around me. I don't, I don't need your stress around me. I'm trying to do multi-million dollar deals. Like, Peace. what do I care about this? But here's the other crazy thing. Now, but it doesn't matter though. And I'll tell you why. No, no, to me, and that's the important thing. The man is the important thing. That's the problem is y'all don't realize who's the important one. See, but at the beginning, how is a man important to me if we haven't built a connection or a relationship? I don't know you like that. You really don't mean nothing to me. Here's the, the great thing. If you want to figure out what's up with me, you could type Marquette Burton into a Google search and then you could read, you could read for, for quite Earth. some time. And then Earth. you could figure out like, OK, his name means something beyond Internet clout. Whereas any woman, if I type her name into a Google search, you know what comes up? Her Instagram, which means nothing like yeah. nothing of relevance. So the reason I say the man is the important one is because of this. I'm going through looking at multimillion dollar deals. She's working at fill in the blank random place that's irrelevant. Right. Why would you make sure that you stay at your coffee shop job when you could come meet a man that could potentially change the rest of your whole life? How do you balance up missing a life changing opportunity? A father of your child who's going to be a great provider, operate at a high level. And you're like, I got to stay and serve coffee to people. What if I can't serve coffee? That to me, that's so dumb. And here's another reason why. Say you work at Starbucks. There's a lot of Starbucks. Say you get banned from Starbucks. There's Pete's Coffee. There's an infinite number of coffee serving jobs you can get. Mm -hmm. How often are you going to meet somebody like me? Once in a I lifetime. Agree. So it's like, that's a completely idiotic decision. But most women go by that logic. And here's the thing. Oh, you sacrifice your job. You're making twenty dollars an hour, or whatever they make. I don't know. But what am I sacrificing it for? Like, what are you bringing to the table for me listen, to actually listen? Be the, that submissive to want to you're put my money in your hands. You're coming to, to get the to opportunity. You're coming to get the opportunity. And if you're a smart, savvy woman, you're savvy enough. Opportunity to, as far as you ready to listen and hear it. Can you receive it? Yeah. Because I always tell people I have a communications course. I say, if someone can't hear you, there's no need to talk. Well, you said opportunity. So I'm just trying to understand what type of opportunity. So you, you're ready to hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about this? I'm not even going to tell you. You tell me. What opportunity do you think that I can offer a woman that, say, an average guy can't can offer? Can I answer that? Oh, yeah, sure. Go okay. ahead. Okay. So my dad wasn't the best dad growing up, but I grew up with a father yeah. in my house, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's some women, you know what I'm saying, not throwing shade at nobody, you know what I'm saying? Because this is not your fault, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he cheated, you can beat my yeah. mama, but he cheated, yeah. and he was mean sometimes, I'm but you know what I'm saying, whatever. Up, yeah. My thing is, is that some women don't see the value of a man. Absolutely. They don't see the value of a man, and they don't see the value H. of a man being in their life. Mm. So they don't, they don't see the value of being submissive enough to cater to him to rub his back, to not say certain things at certain times and let him come to his senses, come to himself, to come to you. 
You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say. Can mm. I add on? Can, can, oh, okay. can I add one on? second? <laughs> I'm trying no, no, to understand no, 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 no. how we what she coming right here. Go ahead. Okay. I'm just said. because you asked the question, right. and you needed somebody to say, explain it a little more. He's saying he's talking about opportunity. Absolutely. So he's saying if he's providing you an opportunity as his foundation, what he can provide, his mind, everything, whatever he can install into you, to leave that nine to five, and you say, "Oh, I have to be at this job that will replace you and drop you in a second. Mm. In a second health issue anything they're gonna replace you it's a business it's an operation he wants you to have your own establishment to stop working for someone else and work for yourself or work with this company yeah. but you're gonna choose oh no i think i'm secured here until yes. that job lets you go now you didn't miss your blessing that opportunity with him that's crazy. because you second guessed about it that's crazy that's pretty much just what he's saying because i can't keep working i ain't got else. nothing to say and, and let <laughs> me let me tell you something else that's even crazier when you're dealing with an honorable man i got one young lady excellent woman was with her for several years and then there came one point at which she had like started raising her voice like just one instance she had raised her voice she used the curse word and i said don't do that and then she doubled down on it she wasn't even calling me names or cursing at me but i was like don't curse or raise your voice when you're talking to me and that's because i agree with that though that's that's, I know you be cursing and raising your voice. You agree, but I don't no, think no, you can no, follow no, no. it. No, my man can leave a comment right now. I do it. not curse and I raise do not my voice. My man. But when she did that, the first time I said, hey, lower your volume and don't curse. Mm -hmm. And then she did it, which is outside of her character. I say, you're now fired forever. And I don't go backward in life. Mm -hmm. But because she has served me so many years and she was so trill and so loyal, you got to transition out of certain lifestyles. You know what I'm saying? Which is to say, like, as she struggles to figure out, like, what does her life mean today as a single woman at her age and her financial situation? Because she's been living my life for many years. Now she's living a different life. And she has, she's Can adjusted. No, don't. Don't. Because you do that too much. That's why I know you curse and raise your voice at your man. No, I don't. Because you don't respect I, a man. Oh, my soul. No, I now, don't. Don't go there. No, I don't. You don't know me like that. Don't I do, though. There. I no, do. And that's what I experience don't. gives you. It gives you the you, ability you to assess things very no, quickly. And so still, I still give her any help that she needs until she's transitioned to a new man because it's love. Real men, you don't have to put them on child support. You don't have to put them on alimony. She served me so well. Whatever she needs, she can still get it from me. Mm. And I'll be happy for her when she moves on to a good man. Mm -hmm. So oh, all of this, so like, good. I don't want, I got to be independent and all that other stuff. That's mental sickness. Okay. And just like she said, that job will leave you in the dust. It absolutely will leave you in the mm -hmm. dust. And how dare you go follow the dictates of a stranger, a man that you don't know, and you wouldn't follow the program of a man who sleeps with you every night in bed and would get up and risk I his life for you. That's crazy. I, I promise you. I Can I ask what the topic is? Okay. Uh <laughs> I had to move my car, bro. I had to move my car. I didn't want to get towed. So I just got Yo. I parked in that parking lot over there, but I just moved to the Yo. side. So the that's one with the bar? I, well, I Real think quick, it, uh, Minds Like Parachutes writes, quote, my boyfriend is a protector, end quote. Didn't you say you were in a long distance relationship? He's not protecting nothing from that distance. Oh, gosh. Next one. Caught up? That's it. Okay, fantastic. Um, may I also acknowledge... Uh, Baby, I don't go outside like that unless he's okay with it, so... I'm just I, playing. I, I just, feel like y'all been like trying to play me and play my words. I literally it. said it's okay for a man to control me. I just don't want a man to have complete control of me to where I feel like I have no life of my own. Ahead, wouldn't yeah, it work? Wouldn't funny? it work to like find was. somebody that kind of has those same values as you that kind of lines up so that when when they are, 100%. I guess, controlling, right? It, it's controlling in, in a mechanism that you're comfortable with and aligns with your 100%. values. One hundred percent. 100 that is what i agree with but i feel like i gotta tell you guys to, whatever it is i hope you figure out that you path because i promise you you don't want to be single at my age i promise mm. you no i don't because that <laughs> being single 40 years old <laughs> well you just <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> listen i'll tell you right now the reality First of off, it is girl you look beautiful i don't i, I don't that. know why everybody sweet, left i really do appreciate that but the reality of it is men can get me but the ideal time frame for me to have children was about 20 years ago right so well because biologically when you're young, i'm yeah, 40 years old i mean i'm just a gestational uh geriatric pregnancy menopause like that it's just no, easier no, 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 okay no. i have one more thing to say just yeah, about ahead. the topic we were talking about 
I feel like um, when you look at the word control, I feel like that word is just so like people are immediately thinking like, oh, I'm in jail. I'm just like, I'm stuck. But like, if you think about it, your parents controlled you. Right. And like school controls you, you know, college controls you, your job controls you sometimes. But there's different types of control. Like, for example, yeah, but I'm just like, there's different types of control entirely. Like, your man's not going to control you in the same way your parents would, you know. Mm. They are doing what they think is best for you with their knowledge. Mm. So I feel like it just falls in different categories. I don't know if that makes sense. One thing I'll tell the gentleman watching is that if a woman ever says that she's not submissive or she says she doesn't want to be controlled or if she even uses the word control, bro, dip. Well, smash, <laughs> Better run. smash first run. and then <laughs> dip. Because here's the thing. Even the women who say that they're submissive, many of them still aren't submissive. Huh? Go based so on the ones, action. the ones that say that they're not, you need to believe them for sure. And here's the crazy thing. Just imagine Shorty's like, you're my protector. It's like, okay, well, to protect you, I actually do need a level of authority over you. I don't know if anyone here has ever had a bodyguard with them, but a bodyguard will tell you where to stand, which way to face. Like, for example, our security train that we have within the SAS. And when we had our guy training people, he used to do security for Snoop Dogg and various other people you heard of. And he says, when we go in the elevator and Snoop's on the elevator, we tell him, turn around and face the other way. So if we go down to a certain floor and the doors open, people don't look and say, oh, Snoop Dogg's in the elevator. So we tell him, face the other way. You're constantly under directions by those who are doing the protection. So the fact is, if you're not fully submitting to your man, then you cannot be protected. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, I agree. Can I can I ask you one question before you end this? <laughs> what do you consider a woman fully submitting to you? Like, what does that look like to you? That is a good question, question by Thug Nasty, isn't it? <laughs> Thug Nasty for, is crazy. Two points for Thug Nasty. Hey, baby, I love I you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, I figured out what it really is. If a woman is really about you, she would rather be your trash than another man's treasure. Mm. I observe like guys who are not winners when I was a young ball and I listened to the things that they would say. That's like, oh, he treats her so bad and she's putting up with that. Yeah, yeah, because he the one for her. So that makes you and, feel good? That okay. you're treating so, her like trash? So you said you were asking me a question, something. right? So if you asking me a question, that would mean that you have to listen. I'm, I'm and trying I to understand, though. But can you understand if you're talking? Well, he didn't you're say that things was that aren't making sense. He didn't say sorry. that was him. I'm he sorry, you were going somewhere with that, and I was man. low key locked in. Yeah, what yeah. Because he, he I'm my prize, but I'm not his prize, and that's why he treat me that way. Yeah, so basically, right? <laughs> I'm just there for you. If a woman <laughs> would rather be your trash than another man's treasure, I'm not saying treat her like trash. Mm -hmm. I didn't say okay. treat her like trash because an honorable man yeah, wouldn't do that. We said be good to good people. Yeah. But I'm saying she's so about you mm -hmm. that she'd rather be your trash yeah. than another man's treasure. Mm, because as long as it's you, it's always better. I got a girl don't even like to take photos less I'm in it. She don't want to travel less I'm there. Everything's enhanced by her man's presence. And when you tell a woman, like, as I said earlier, I said, if I'm piping you down, you mine. Mm -hmm. When you have a real female who's really a female, not trying to pretend to be a dude, mm -hmm. you look her dead in her eyes and say, you my property. She, yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, yes, sir. But see, property is a word that a feminist, like, oh, that's degrading. I agree. No, property means I own you. You mine. You're under my protection. You need anything. I'm the one. Come to me. Yeah. But a woman who's a feminist, oh, what do you mean? That's so I'm not an object. But you would go out there and twerk in that club like an object. Right. <laughs> you would go and get treated like an object by your job that doesn't care about you and won't let you take a day off if you're actually sick because they short staffed. Mm -hmm. So the fact of the matter is a truly submissive woman who's good at mate selection, she's going to have a great life. But the problem is you guys are terrible at mate selection because when I say something real, you get offended. But you really need a guy like me because I'm not trying to finesse you or like convince you to be with me. No, I'm like, look, this is what it is. And here's the beautiful thing. It's always going to be like this. I ain't going to never change up on you because I didn't have to be nice to get you. When you came to me, I said, look, boss, this is the offer. If you like it, fantastic. If you don't, I got 10, 20 that to take it up. So I don't have to lie to you. So the way you started with me, that's the way it's going to end if it ever ends. 
And it's only ever going to end if you can't follow program. Can I say something about that as well? And I think what you're saying is like mad true. And I think nowadays females are so to a certain extent because men go through it too i'm just speaking for the female side females go through it so much that at this point they don't know how to submit this is how i feel i don't even gonna lie to you my heart my heart hurts and like i've been through so much like mm -hmm. i said earlier mm -hmm. that i almost can't believe you know because i'm like not that i'm not gonna believe him because i believe you know mm -hmm. and i'm gonna give him that benefit of the doubt but it's so hard and it's so sad for at least female nowadays feeling like they really don't have a man to protect them like that's sad to me because that's what life is supposed to be these men are supposed to protect these females mm -hmm. and they don't know more because of the media the lies that they're being told and not only that the food that men eat with all, excuse me uh messes <laughs> with all's testosterone right mm -hmm. the government is out to get everybody i don't mean to be weird about it mm -hmm. but it's true so i agree with you on okay, that so i agree with you on that because i do believe because it does come i'm not gonna like i'm not religious i'm spiritual yeah, but i see. do believe that men are supposed to protect our feminine energy I do believe that. And that's why females have become so hard and so gangster because we put this block up so much because we've been deceived and we chose the wrong man. Absolutely. And that's why shirts. you have to keep your options open because no, there is a you, good now man. You're wilding. Damn. She said, now you got to No, for real open. though, because um, I'm seeing some right now and wow, I'm 23, bro. And I have, <laughs> let me tell you, let me, let me tell you though. I'm 23. Bro. No, but listen, I've barely had a man put gas in my car. I have never had a man pay my or help. No, it's not even about money. It's more of like, I don't feel like personally, as in my experience, I've ever truly been treated by a man. And so that's what kind of makes me put my guard up because it's like, but I'm not, that's not to, who my soul day, is. Though, right? To this no, day, No, because I'm seeing my man's right now and like, wow, he like really sh makes me feel that like I can be vulnerable because I'm so nervous, not nervous, but like, I can not explain it, you know, like, but he actually makes me feel like I can open up and trust him that he is my ride or die and he will never leave me because that's the biggest thing I worry about is if, you know, I, I give you my heart and you leave the next there. day. So you, you know? said if he's my ride or die, the way that language, it's a ride or die, B-I-T-C-H, right? Yeah. That's the original language. And you said, if he's your ride or die, you're supposed to be his and I and, ride or and guy. let me tell you this I though so. I do a lot when I when if someone gives when someone show, makes me feel like I can be vulnerable uh -huh. I give them not everything but I then do you my already messed up best. Then. that's yeah. the issue like it, but I do my best to be able that's to not your best them. if you don't do every if you're not a hundred percent I will up, that's not it's not even about that it's like, like y'all be giving 98 percent I don't want to <laughs> give 98 <laughs> I'm but for me personally, I don't want to give 98. I want to give my 100. Okay, so and the only you? reason why it would ever be 98% uh -huh. is that they make me feel like I can't fully be vulnerable. And that's as in them being with Are me and me being with right them. Are you giving 100% right now? Huh? Are you giving 100% right now? Yes. You f you truly yes. feel like you're giving 100% yes. right now? Yes. I, I, not, the, I don't know. I don't want to say too much. Oh, sorry. Sorry Not if I'm talking. Sorry if I'm yeah. talking too much too. Like, yeah. if you need to pass it on, just uh, let me know. Shout out to Robert. He writes, "Peace and Saints." Marquette, this show is absolutely timely. I always find it entertaining when women who are involved with a man still have an imaginary straw man in their mind when answering these questions. Ooh, that's deep. Mm, okay. That's Wait, I want to respond to that. I want to respond to that. Yeah. Ooh. No, no, no. That was deep. Two, 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 wow. and one, one. Get out of here. That, no, I really want to address that because he said you got a man that you're saying is like the guy, but you're still complaining as though he's not the guy. And you know what? I think that's something for you all to reflect on. And I'll tell you why. I remember I was in Washington, D.C. for a gala. And it was before the gala started and they're doing like some workshops and some conferencing kind of uh, programming. And 
there's this older Jewish woman that it came up to me because it wasn't many black people there, especially not like younger black people. And so she came up and introduced herself and she says, no, hey, I'd heard about you. So-and-so told me about you. I thought it was nice to meet you. And she says, you know, I, I think you're a fine young man and I wish my husband was here to meet you. Oh, and she says, yeah, because my husband, he's who you want to be. My husband has done so much, his philanthropy, he's done this, he's built these kind of businesses. He's such a great man. I really wish he was here for you to meet him, which is to say it would be your privilege mm -hmm. to meet my man. Mm -hmm. She talked about that man like he was that boy. Right. You're right. Right. And, yeah. and, and I was excited to meet him. And we see consistently that if he ain't that ball for you, we can tell. Like you can't hide that. And that's why I said, if a man looked you in your eye, say, you my property. When, when he's I love that, that guy. Too. I love when a man would tell me that. Because yeah. I'm like, wow. I'm like, it's almost like a big breath of fresh mm -hmm. air. You know? Because I'm like, wow. Like, I am yours, bro. And sorry. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying bro. Because that's just what it is. That's no. just what it is. Y'all can hate on me or love no. me for it. I don't care. That's the way I speak. That's the way I talk. But I don't. I don't care about none of that, but she's just agreeing real. with him. We can't, we can't be, but she's just you know, no. but I'm agreeing with you because like, yeah. no, nah, cause, cause what he said, I talk, bro. Okay. What's up? I say, bro. Hi. Oh, how are you, bro? You know what it is? What's up? 